And then there were 18. One of the defendants in the Georgia elections case just flipped. Find out which one. I'm going to go ahead and put up a layout of all the defendants that are being charged. And this is going to be our countdown of who actually is flipping, pleading guilty in all of this mess. As we start getting closer and closer to actual trial dates, I believe these individuals are going to start falling like dominoes. And the first one on the list here is Scott Hall. Now, Scott Hall was implicated in the Coffee County portion of the indictments. That is where they're alleging the actual tampering of the machines uh, actually happened. Unlike what the Trump side was arguing that someone in Fulton County was messing with the votes, that someone being Ruby Freeman in which she received death threats on this uh, this this lie that was per perpetrated uh, by the Trump campaign. And these were not government officials. These were proxies of the Trump campaign. Now, what's interesting about this is it starts a cascade effect of, or a domino effect, if you will, snowball effect with one of these defendants now copying a plea that is essentially a guilty plea. You're, they are agreeing that they did what they are being charged with. It now implicates or, or goes after anyone involved with that meeting in Coffee County. Those individuals will be looking more than likely to cop pleas of their own to limit their involvement. Um, this is not looking good if you are in Coffee County. Um, one uh, pundit went on the record in saying that there was actually corroborating evidence of who actually picked this gentleman up from the airport as he was not a resident of Coffee County. And that person I would suspect will be looking for a plea deal at this point in time. It is going to be very interesting to see how these pieces fall into place. As uh, District uh, Attorney Fannie Willis had alleged at the beginning that, yeah, she was going to be able to charge all 19 and, and her office was going to be able to go after these individuals. Well, it's looking like there won't be as many trials as you won't, as you would thought. There are at least one less trial with this guilty plea. So out of the 19 that they were looking at, one's already done. We got a guilty plea. If you got two more um, this month in October with uh, Ken Cheeseboro and Sidney Powell um, now being uh, separated from the rest of the pack, so to speak, and having them tried together. So that takes off one more case. So we're down to 17 separate trials. I believe that we'll get further down the list pretty soon. Um, this is going to have major ramifications in who is going to be pleading guilty as to what they did. I'm also expecting uh, a quick trial for the portions of the uh, indictment that involved messing with Miss Ruby. Um, those three individuals, um, Pastor Lee, uh, Travian Cootie, and uh, Harrison Floyd, um, they are, they are, they, well, two of them at least were caught on video, police body cam, no less. Um, as far as what they were doing uh, at this woman's house and, and what is alleged. So it is going to be not as far faster, not as long as a trial um, process as one may have thought. Let me know what you think in the comment section. We'll go ahead and get it popping. We'll talk to you very, very soon. Thank you.